What do we do? This is ridiculous. If we can't get to get a foot the hat now. It's not going well, is it? This is a disaster. Isn't it? This video has been disastrous. This fans are happy. Mystery boxes, a phenomenon that has swept the footballing world since 2020. I mean, tell me about it. You call that easy content, sir, don't we? Yes, we do. Anyway, today we're taking the football mystery box concept to another level and fusing my two passions. Myself and my good friend Ed are meeting at 10am at Nottingham train station. We're then going to open up a mystery box each and whichever shirt is revealed in the box, we're going to watch them play in their match. Why Nottingham, you ask? Well, it's two hours and a half from Norfolk and that way no one can say we haven't travelled relatively far, whether the game is up north or down south. Let's do this. Hello from Nottingham. Uh, we came to this point to prove we're in Nottingham. Can you just confirm we're in Nottingham, Ed? We are in Nottingham, can confirm. Ed is from Leeds, so I made him get a train down. So we then have to go back up north. It's not great, is it? And also we've just found out loads of games are being called off today. I kept it to prove we're not, we're not lions. Let's see where we're off to today. You're gonna get nice and snappy. I can't feel my hands. I know one team whose game is 100% off. Oh, I've got like a little, little pouch. Non-league, I've gone for non-league by the way. Non-league football shop, you know, shout out to them. Right, are you ready to reveal what we're off to today? Here we go. We're off to... What? Is it Oldham? It's Oldham and their game's off. <laughs> What do we do? I mean, we're going to go to the nearest game, aren't we? Is that the rules? I think the rules would be now, just to prove it. Yeah, definitely Oldham. <laughs> we'll find the closest game to Oldham and watch that. We'll go with that in our Oldham shirts. Yeah, we'll have to wear the Oldham <laughs> shirts though. Come on then. <laughs> Here we are, got the beans on toast, got a tea, got a hot chocolate. It came to £10.50. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks to Armada for sponsoring this. We'll talk about them a bit more in a bit. We need to find out where we're off to. So let's do that. Here we go, the moment of truth. We've put the location to Oldham. Let's see the closest game we can go to. Ashton United FC. Is their game on? Chance will be a fine thing. Ed, the only games that are actually on because the pitch inspections are in the league. Yeah. Wigan or Bradford, which one? Choose Wigan or Bradford. Quick, say, say a club. They're both 46 kilometers away from Oldham. Bradford. We're off to Bradford. Do you want to go Bradford? Oh, I don't have a choice now, we're off there. <laughs> so we're off to Bradford. Uh, this has been a crazy day so far. That's what you get when you get involved with mystery, you know? And speaking of mystery, huge thanks again to our sponsor, Omada, because two of you are able to win a mystery football shirt just by getting involved and playing Omada, linked at the top of the description. It's free to download. Just quickly, if you didn't already know, Omada is the free-to-play daily sports prediction app in which every day new fixtures are added to the app and you can make your predictions. And in the away day squad, the person who accumulates the most coins throughout the week, which is completely free to play, will win a mystery football shirt. And then also we give away another mystery football shirt just for someone who gets involved and plays along. So even if you're terrible, you have a chance of winning a mystery football shirt as well. Get involved, help support the channel, and we can do more crazy things like this, thanks to them. And yes, we have our own away day squad, as I said, as you can see there's over 6,000 of you in the away day squad now, which I believe makes us the most joined squad on the app. So be sure to get involved, and one of you each week will win a mystery football shirt just for getting involved. And also you can make squads with your friends, you can play along with them, there's a global squad as well. So we also have an away days world cup squad in which I'm gonna announce the winner of the PS5 later in this video as well. But for now, let's get off to Bradford. Uh, Ellis. Yeah? There's a pitch inspection at Bradford at 12. This is a disaster, isn't it? This video has been disastrous. Yeah. Uh, but that's the beauty of this channel, baby. <laughs> that's football. That is Football, that's life. That's well. the game. This video has became mystery box aside, but also Mother Nature aside. Yeah. Um, and she is beautiful. <laughs> DM me. Everything that could have went wrong today has gone wrong. It's not going well, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is probably a good time to say, actually, if this hits 5,000 likes, we'll do it in Europe. Because this one's gone so well. <laughs> uh, Ellis. I know what you're going to say to me now. I'm going to have a breakdown, Ed. The game's off. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Where do we go? What do we do? What do we do at this point? <laughs> we have to pull over. Next service we see, we have to find another gate. Yeah. This has just become a disaster, really. We've got a plan of action. Yeah. I gave you the option Wigan or Bradford. Bradford's off. Wigan, we think, is on. At the moment, yeah. So we're going Wigan. Let's go Wigan. Got the chicks, come on! We'll get some lunch first. <laughs> Anyone want any context as well? The games are off. That's why the ground's frozen everywhere. You're having your first subway? I am. Good luck. 
no idea how this all works, but he didn't. He didn't get it toasted. No. We got to the, the salad, and he went, "Oh, have I got to do that as well?" Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how this works. You see, this is what, this is a new experience for me. So you're having cold chicken, bacon, and cheese with lettuce. Yeah. I'm unorthodox. You. <laughs> Somebody does that to the system. So we've came into Waitrose to prove a point. It's the only place we could find grapes. Because people thought I was lying at any distance. So Ed, you're gonna have to prove us a long distance for me to prove a point. Okay, one grape. Jesus. He's got an inch! That might just be better than the first one! <laughs> oh my word! How has he managed that? How has he actually managed that? Good at it! Where did you time? learn that? Here we are then Ed, the DW Stadium is in the foreground. Is that what you call it? Is that the background of the foreground? I think it's the background. Yeah. I don't want to get you know, picky, but I think it's the background. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Up the six. Yeah. Luxury sock set. Beautiful things. Yeah. We're going to athletic golf balls. You don't do Apple Pay? Yeah, just a little bit. Is online to go to sort of thing? The Championship Football Club, they don't accept Apple Pay. <laughs> well, if we can't get a ticket, I've bought the hat now. So we've got two tickets, they're on my phone. I have a feeling it's not going to work. Let's go. Let's <laughs> Up the ticks. Oh, Ed's just been to the toilet and he's adamant he wants to review it. Yeah, uh, I think it needs some work to be honest. I think they need to improve the flusher. I wasn't impressed with that. Five out of ten for that. Hand dryer, disappointed, it wasn't very warming. So I think I need to improve it. That's also five out of ten. But in, t in terms of the you know overall feel of the atmosphere in there, I thought it was maybe a six. What represents good atmosphere in a toilet? I think atmosphere, you need good camaraderie for a football match. You need people that have a good chat. Someone shaking for you. Yeah, a little bit of that. Here's our game for today. I think you can maybe tell we're going to be doing very well at the moment. It's similar to the attendance you saw at Witness. We're in our seat, it's very sunny. Um, here are some fun facts about Wigan Athletic FC that I have found very quickly. So they play at the DW Stadium with a capacity of 25,000 people. They're currently bottom of the league. Their opponents today are Luton, who are ninth. And I now officially, until half five, bleed blue and white. What do you think your score's going to be today, Alice? It's going to be one nil. We'll go up the six. Come on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Had to be done. We are sort of beginning to realise that the bubble hats aren't really big sellers. They're not. Stand out a bit, doesn't it? I think. It shows how much we love the club. Yeah, yeah. Passionate. Being completely transparent, we're sat here watching this warm up with no coaches about. It just feels like Sunday League. They're sort of just kicking the ball at the net. This guy down here is just repeatedly bopping the ball off the. <laughs> advertising board. I'll be honest, I'm not overly confident in what Colo's implementing here. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Colo Torre is their manager. Also, a fun note on Colo Torre being their manager. Apparently they approached Yaya, were told no, and then approached Colo. Yeah, I mean, just get one of them in. Just, just get, get one of the Torres. That's my recruitment strategy. <laughs> really feeling it, you know. Yeah? Listen to the music, man. <laughs> This guy's a genius. I would love a Wigan win, I'll be honest, I would love it. Wigan's mascot is arguably one of the best of all time, Krusty the Pie. That's incredible. Uncle Joe's mint balls. Sounds tasty. Come on, Wigan! Come on, the ticks! Come on! <laughs> Worth noting that since Colo Torre has taken over, we're going to yet to win a game. Is today the day we, we see a change? Also, to be clear, any jokes we've made about the attendance were purely just jokes. Wigan are bottom of the league. They're not overly keen on their owners. There's a cost of living crisis. I don't blame them for the stadium not being fully sold out, just to be very clear before we proceed. And we make more jokes about it, just, just so we're aware. Anyway, sh attendance, isn't it? <laughs> yes, <all right. laughs> How many times? What a chance. Yeah, I was just literally praising Stephen Corker. And then he's just, oh, I'm not, not really sure what's happened there. It's, it's terrible, it's so bad. <laughs> just gave it away in defence. Gave it to him, goal, job done. The fans aren't happy. Ed turned to you a minute ago and said, I couldn't imagine spending 20 quid a week to come watch this. No chance. What would you have spent the 20 quid on instead? Good question. Um, maybe 20 pounds worth of penny sweets, perhaps. Therapy? Yeah, therapy would also be helpful. Ah! He's offside. He's offside. Oh. There were chaotic scenes before, during, and after the match. I'm fuming. I am fuming. Yeah, well, it's 1-1 one, one in our eyes. It's got to be. It didn't have to be, but come on! In hindsight, when we realised the Oldham game was off, we should have been like, hang on a minute. We'll come down and we'll, like, hair dry the pitch. Because even if it was off, it would have been <laughs> arguably more fun. Hey, you ready for a goal? Five, four, three, two... <laughs> Shoot! Oh! 
Well, I need a drink and I've only seen 45 minutes of it all season. It's half time. How's the, how are things going? Enjoying the pint? I'm not a fan of Carlin. I sort of panicked and ordered a Milky Way in a car. That goes well, doesn't it? That goes well. You can dip it in. To be fair, Wigan haven't been terrible. It's not been too bad. It's been all right. Neither team's really stood out, let's face it. Okay, it's been bad. <laughs> See you in a second half. <laughs> Edit it so I down it all. Me, Lager. Do you want half a Milky Way? Yeah, come on. Oh, what a treat. Milky Way and Carlin, ease the pain. Second half's underway. London Milky Way. Good. I think it's right. It's minus two, maybe. There's 45 minutes left. We're freezing. We know Wigan aren't going to score. There's no chance it happens. More chance of me scoring. Here's a clip of me scoring at Ellen Road. I think I've got a clip of Ed scoring as well, so there's, there's both of them. People are actually leaving. It's the 52nd minute. Even the mascot's seen enough. The Luton fans are doing the Colo Yaya charm. That is quality, fair play to him. Just shoot, shoot! No, oh, why have you shot? Might be some of you think Ed's face is quite familiar. He did go viral recently, he was on TV. He had a billboard campaign where he um, bought a billboard to show that he wanted to take someone out on a date. Yeah. So link to Ed's channel and that video in the description. Do you want the good news? Go on. There's less than half an hour till we go home. Yeah. Do you want the bad news? Go on. We have to watch 25 minutes more of this. <laughs> Mystery boxes about 50 quid in total. Petrol about 60. Tickets came to 46. Bobble hats came to 24. But seeing this football has been priceless. It really has. It's been brilliant. Wigan fans are booing a sub. I'm not sure. What's going on? It's an exile now happening in the 80th. A lot of people are leaving. I'm quite jealous. In my speak bios, we're going to have a free kick and there's people still leaving before they even take the free kick because they know that's that confident it's not going to go in. Oh. Hello, I am back. That was just, I love this new thing we're doing, to be honest. Like, I love that at so many points today, I had no idea who we were going to watch. Like, I actually love what we're doing now. Also, before we get any further, I did say earlier in the video, I was going to announce the Amada PS5 World Cup winner, finally. And I can reveal, drum roll please, Ben Matthew is the Away Days Omada PS5 winner. Omada will reach out to you to sort your prize of you. As with anyone who wins an Omada prize, they will reach out to you to sort it. So make sure to check your notifications in app. They will message you in the app to let you know you've won a prize and you can sort out collecting the prize of them. The prizes are done with them, not with me. Anyway, let's debrief about this. Really interesting day. Um, once again, 5,000 likes will do it in Europe. I know I've said a lot about Europe trips. Basically, we're getting through them all in the UK first and then eventually we'll branch out and do the ideas in Europe first. I've got so many up my sleeve. Just wanted to do the UK ones first to test which ones you guys love which ones you don't, and then we'll take the ones you really enjoy, like the dart, um, into Europe. So I hope that makes sense. Shame about the mystery box, like not being where we wanted it to be, but it ended up being even more of a mystery than just revealing a show it would be anyway. Like I'm really, although the game wasn't great, like I thought it was a fun day and huge shout out to Ed for joining me as well. Like I can't, I don't really do shout outs really often on this channel. Maybe I should do it more, but Ed's channel right on screen has less than 2000 subscribers. His video ideas and him are incredible. He should be doing YouTube at like a much higher level. I think it's actually one of the biggest shames I've seen on YouTube that he isn't a big UK YouTuber. His video ideas are fantastic and I think he has all the potential to get there. So if any of you enjoyed Ed in this video or you wanna see some of his mental ideas like getting a billboard to try and find someone to go on a date with, he is linked in the description of this video. He doesn't know I'm doing this. He doesn't know I'm giving him a shout out, but I think he deserves it. And if any of you could go check out his stuff, I mean, I'd really appreciate it as well because he deserves to grow so much more than he has at the moment. And yeah, I will be back next week with more grape throwing, but also with a video idea that I think is my best ever. And I'll see you very, very soon. Huge thanks to Omada for making this possible. Once again, check them out at the top of the description as you can win two free football shirts. It's the end of the video now. You can leave, you can go check out Ed, you can download Omada. They make all these trips possible. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. So I'll see you next week. I've been Ellis. Ciao, ciao. Bye.